Hello, I'm Saren and welcome to these Art Connections Bite Size Workshops. Today we'll be learning how to make sun catches, such as these here. These are great to hang up in your window or your garden, although I'd recommend your window over your garden, as this is Cymru, we do tend to get a lot of rain. So they probably won't get damaged, but uh, yeah, it's nicer in the window sills. Now these, this workshop just requires a few easy and simple materials. This mason jar lid, some string or twine, some olive oil, a bit of glue, and a drawing of your choice. I have made a little green one out of watercolours. Um, you can use coloured pencils, it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture, it could just be uh, lots of different colours, or it could be an interesting pattern, perhaps, um, or a flower. This is your chance to get really inventive and is that entirely up to you what you want to see in your own sun catcher? So I have measured this to the size of the sun catcher here. I'm probably just going to have to trim down the edges slightly just so it fits inside the sun catcher, the mason jar lid a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I know that that fits. I'm going to get a bit of glue. I'm using PVA, um, but you can use things like super glue or craft glue. I'm not too sure print stick would work too well, um, as I don't see how you can really get the stick down here on the inside, but it's up to you, give it a go if you want. So yeah, so on the inside of the lid, this bit here, we're just going to place a ring of glue. Okay, once the inside has had enough glue on it, we're just going to go and pop the green one back in. Like that and press him down all on the edges. There we go. There we go. And that should, in time, stick down well enough. Keep moving your finger over it, pressing down until every corner is lovely and sound and pressed down. And there we go. Right. So, the next stage is how we actually make this into the sun catcher. Now, you can use any sort of oil, but I'm chosen to use some olive oil. And the oil, it won't make the image run at all, but it does make it lovely and translucent. So I'm going to use a cotton pad. You can use a paintbrush or a bit of kitchen towel, maybe. I'm just going to dip the cotton pad in the oil. And move it over the painting. If, like me, you haven't waited for your picture to sit down properly, you will get that. 
but you'll probably just have to push it down again and do a bit on the back if you please just make sure it's extra translucent now, i've just used plain paper by the way to paint on um it's thinnest so it will show the sun better There we go. I think it's had enough oil on it. And now you can actually see the green man through the back as well. Okay. Well, actually, I might just put a little bit more at the edges. If you shine it into the light like that, you can see what extra bits you might need a bit more oil in. But it is lovely how it doesn't make any of the paint run at all. And I find watercolours are nice anyway because they're already quite translucent. Right, there we go. Nice and shiny sun catcher. There we go. Okay. Now, we're just going to hang him up. So I'm going to cut a length of twine. That one will do. It depends how long you want the, how long you want them to be hung from your window or in your garden. This half. Put a knot in it. Very loosely tighten. So you don't all the way just yet because now I'm just going to put this loop over oh, now I got tangled and once it's over then we can begin to tighten Twine is a pain, to be honest with you. If you have string or wool, it's probably going to be a little bit less fiddly. But you don't need to glue the twine in place or anything. Um, with a string choice because once it's tight enough it'll hold well enough by itself it's up to you if you want to wait for the oil to dry before attaching the string or twine but there we go finally um, but oil does take a long time to dry so and there we have it. We have a very own sun capture. So I'm just going to make a little loop in the top. And now he's ready to go and hang up in the window. Unfortunately, I have no sun here today. Otherwise, I'd show you the finished product with the sunshine shining through it. But I guess you'll just have to try it for yourselves and see the results for yourself as well. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed this workshop and yes, thank you for watching.